So I um, hope you can hear me. Um, thank you very much for the introduction. So um, I'll be the one today presenting you the pose annotation project for artworks. So the goal of this project was to create a platform to create a training data set for um, body pose estimation in art. So to give you a little bit of context, now there are more and more um, projects um, that involve um, uh, machine learning models for human pose estimations in art, um, where the goal usually is to um, detect the different bodies that are represented uh, within paintings or um, detect also the shape of the, the bodies represented in sculptures. And um, the idea is usually to compare these poses um, either under the spectrum of a specific iconography or also to understand more um, uh, compositional um, aspects. Um, and actually the issue here is that most of the time um, these projects are using a uh, machine learning model that was pre-trained on uh, real images. So for example here uh, you have some images from uh, the COCO data sets and the issue is that they present different um, visual qualities um, than um, paintings for example. So here on the right hand side you have um, early modern paintings and you can see here that with the real images we have a representation of a modern Western way of life that is different from what is represented in the paintings on the right hand side, although they are quite figurative, but still uh, we have differences regarding composition. You have people in the sky, you have uh, also different dressing codes, uh, you have people that are heavily dressed, you have people that are half naked. You have also angels, so you have different types of bodies, and also you have the issue of the um, brush strokes and the, the lightning condition of these images, which are all the kind of factors that impact on the accuracy of these um, machine learning models for human pose estimation that were pre-trained on real images. And the issue here is that for the time being, we don't have a proper training data set to fine tune these machine learning models um, so that they can better operate on artworks. So the idea of this project was to create a, a platform to annotate data set of paintings and to produce this data set in order to fine tune these models. Um, so to produce the, the, the platform, first we had a reflection on the annotation type. Um, the idea here is to use um, a standard that is most commonly use, used for a human pose estimation um, that is made of, of key points. So usually you have a key points for the nose, eyes, ears, and the different joints of the bodies. Um, and um, when you link these key points with each other, then you chase the skeleton that is um, more understandable from a, a visual and human perspective. Um, and this is kind of the, the one of the standards for human pose um, annotation yet. And um, the data sets that we are trying to annotate yet, it's a very small uh, data set of images, but we are the first stage of, of the project. And um, you know also that there are sometimes uh, copyright issues. So we are here using um, images from the photographic collection of the Biblioteca Hurtiana in Rome. Uh, we have about 5,000 paintings um, from the early modern time. Uh, what's interesting here is that it's a photographic collection. So not only you have representations of paintings, but also under the form of a material that was used by art historian over the last century. So namely you have black and white images that were printed on a cardboard with handwritten um, information. You have also canvas. So these are additional components that make it difficult for um, current machine learning model to properly um, detect uh, bodies on images. So for that, it's um, interesting. And then for the implementation process of the platform, so I will go very briefly on that, we used, uh, we used the Flask and Vue.js frameworks. Uh, on the, the back end, we have on a server um, everything implemented with Flask, the data storage with, the, on the one hand, the images, on the other, the annotations. And basically, on the front end, you have the application that is making a request to get the image, and then it is annotated, and the annotation is um, pushed back to the server and processed there, and stored there under a JSON format, which is, um, yeah, the, the common format for these uh, annotations. Um, the task, the annotation task, so we decided to divide the whole um, 
annotation um, task into three different subtasks in order to ease also the process for the annotator. Um, the first one is called the segmentation, and here we ask the user to actually contour um, the different bodies that are represented within the painting, and then um, automatically the, the, this contour is processed and a bounding box is, is generated. Um, and then the second task is the key points annotation. So here the um, user is presented with a single uh, body and he, he or she has to annotate the different key points that you can see there is a list on the right hand side and for each, oh well, five minutes left, for each um, key point on the, the list, so the, the annotator can just simply put the key points in order and then he can also select specific key point and put it on the image. And then finally, there is this important aspect that is the correction task um, where a user can review um, other users' work and um, here make the corresponding changes. Then the challenge is uh, for this approach. Um, so as I said in the previous slide, so there is this uh, issue regarding the um, quality assessment of these in, um, annotations. And um, of course, we're thinking about different ways of doing it. So either we review ourselves all the different annotations, but it, this is time consuming, or uh, at some point we have to define uh, another structure where an image is, for example, annotated multiple times, and then you merge all these annotations. So that could be also a solution. There is also the challenge of the let's say the granularity of the annotations. So um, it's about the scale of the images. Should we allow user to um, zoom into images which have sometimes very small bodies depicted in the landscape. There is also the notion of the definition of, a, of the body, especially in an art historical context. What is a, a body? Um, here I presented you most of the time with figurative paintings, but what if at some point we add more abstract data? Um, such as the image here, as you can see, for us, I mean, for me, it represents a body, but it's completely different from a real human body. So how do we annotate these kind of bodies? Uh, do we have to create new labels and new categories? So these are the kind of challenges that we are thinking about right now. And for the future developments of um, the, the platform, so there is this idea, of course, to extend the data set. Um, maybe add more abstract content and really dive into this issue of what is uh, a body in uh, art historical terms. Um, of course, there is the issue with the copyrights of these images, so this is always a, a big struggle. And with that, the possibility to add um, other types of, of annotation, and then the possibility to extend the platform. So now we talk a lot about the re reusability of these tools, and the idea here for us would be to use um, the, this annotation tool for other projects. Is, this is actually something ongoing, and we already implemented another version of the platform for the annotation of architectural uh, data, so this is something ongoing. And also, we are thinking about solutions to annotate images when you cannot, for example, properly um, hold uh, the, the data set. So this would not be, in that case, to create a training data set, but for example, sometimes you just need the annotation um, in spite of having the images. So these are the different um, aspects we're thinking about to create some modules we could add um, to this um, annotation platform. And I hope I was in time. Um, now it's your turn. Um, so if you want to uh, see the platform, it's online. Um, this is a very first version of it. Uh, we are really on the first round of trials. We're waiting for your output. So there is my email address over there if you want to send us also your feedback, if you want to have a look also at the implementation code, there is a GitHub repository. It's not really working on uh, mobile phones, so please your, your, use your computer. Um, but yeah, that, that's it. <laughs>